Number two, we want to find the intercepts and graph the equation. This time our graph or our equation is x squared minus 9. And we cannot see what I'm writing. Okay, y equals x squared minus 9. So we're going to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And we're going to plot those. With a parabola, you need at least three points to graph it. So we're going to do y-intercept first. And then we're going to do x-intercept. Remember, y-intercept, x equals 0. We're going to do the x-intercept, y equals 0. All right, so I'm going to take this original equation, plug a 0 for x. So we get y equals, and then usually what I do is I just cover up that x because it's going to be 0. And you get um, 0 minus 9, so you just see y equals negative 9. So ordered pair. 0, negative 9. And then over here we'll make y equals 0. Alright, solving for x we would add 9. And we get 9 equals x squared. And we have to get rid of the square by taking the square root of both sides. When you take the square root of a number, you must remember positive or negative. So we get um, two possible numbers over here. We get plus or minus 3 for x. So this gives us two ordered pairs, two x-intercepts. We will have positive 3, 0, and negative 3, 0, because y is 0. So these will be our intercepts. From here we can insert them and then graph. So, can't get it to show here. Okay, so intercepts are 0, comma, negative 9, comma, negative 3, comma, 0, and then comma, 3, 0. So we have three of them. And again, when I graph this, I need to go to full screen. So I'm going to enlarge the graph. This equation is x squared, so you need the parabola. And you can kind of see they're showing you how many points you need. So this is one I need, and then I'm going to plot those intercepts. So I'm going to go to negative 3. negative 3, 0, and then 0, negative 9, and then positive 3, 0. And I'm also looking up there to see the order pairs because it's kind of hard to adjust that. And now we can check to see if that is okay.